Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brielle and this is Brielle Budgets. I just started doing these cash stuff videos this month in February. I am new to the cash envelope system starting this year, 2023, and I have been loving it so far. I want to first say thank you guys for who have subscribed to my channel. I have been really enjoying talking to you guys in the comments and you guys have been so sweet and motivating and I love it here. Like everyone has been so sweet. Um, I've really been enjoying talking to everybody in the comments. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And leave a comment down below. Let me know what your financial goals are this year. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are notified every time I post a video. Um, and so today, we're going to be cash stuffing my second paycheck of February. Um, I thought that my next video would be my tax return, but I'm still waiting for some money to come in. So that will be my next video, probably early next week. Um, so we are now on to my second paycheck of February. I do get paid bi-weekly. Um, and for now, I am going to stuff for two weeks. I do want to transition over to stuffing weekly, but I just have to see how that's going to work with my finances. So, so far right now, it's been working out to stuff bi-weekly. So we will see. I just want to be able to post more videos and also I think stuffing weekly is going to help me to not spend so much of my cash envelopes during the first week. I've been noticing that that's been happening. My spending money and everything kind of is finished in the very first week um, and I think if I break it up weekly then I'd be less tempted to spend as much as I do in the first week. So going further into March, I think we're going to be transitioning over to weekly. So keep, uh, I'll keep you guys posted and just make sure that you keep watching for those type of videos. All right. So your girl did get his cash tray. I finally got a cash tray. So I feel like I'm moving on up. Just want to let you guys know that I am sick. I'm getting over a cold. I think it's just a cold, um, but I've been sick since the weekend. So I'm going to sound kind of stuffy and gross um which is frustrating but i'm trying this is like my third medicine ball in two days and it's been a lifesaver because i've been down bad for a couple days now um so i went this morning to the bank and we got our cash so this is our money that we're going to be stuffing from our second paycheck and this is the amount that we are stuffing 911 dollars so I didn't get to count this money or anything. I just got it from the bank. So uh, I'm just going to count the money and get it all here for you guys. Okay, you guys, the money is all here. This is the money that I have remaining after paying my bills for the rest of the month and all my expenses. So this is the money that I have left over that I cash to go in my cash wallet, so my sinking funds, and so on and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and get started with my cash wallet. So this is new. I told you guys in the last video I wanted to start using an A7 um, wallet. I don't really like this wallet because it just looks like a small binder and it doesn't feel like a wallet. But I love my cash envelopes though, so they're cute. I did order a new wallet though. This I don't feel bad about it because this wallet was only $9.99 on Amazon. So if you guys like this binder, um, this A7 binder, I will link it in the description box down below. These cash envelopes I got off of Etsy and I will leave the shop down below as well. I think it's Amanda and Co. Um, but I will, or Amanda Nicole, I'll leave her um, Etsy shop in the description box. But I love these. They're so cute and simple. Um, so for rollover, I only have money left in gas. And I think it's, yeah, for $6. So I'm going to set this to the side and put this into my $1 and $5 saving challenge. And we're just going to go ahead and stuff my wallet. So for gas, gas is going to be getting um, $100. I do have my computer over here to my right to uh, reference to. Otherwise, I'll be all over the place. So gas is going to get 100 So that will just be uh, 2 40 60 80 So four twenties and two tens. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100 for gas. And that has been working 
for the two weeks, I'd rather have more than not have enough. And I still have like a half a tank in my car. So yeah, I'd rather stuff more than not have enough for gas because I don't want to dip into anything else. For groceries, groceries is going to get $1.20. And I know I told you guys that I would just um, not cash my grocery money because I usually do grocery pickup. But I have just been spending more, like digging into my checking account buffer when doing grocery shopping. So I find it easier to just cash the money out, have it in my wallet. Um, don't kill me, but use my uh, credit card. Make sure I only spend 120 or less, and then I go ahead and I pay the credit card back with this money. That way, I am a little bit more strict on myself to make sure that I only spend $120 on groceries. Otherwise, I've been spending more and it's just not been good. So for myself, I'm going to be getting uh, just $30 because I already uploaded $10 to my Starbucks app. I'm giving myself $40 of spending, but $10 for Starbucks for two weeks. And that's because I have... I did this uh, last paycheck and it worked out very good. I I put uh, $15 on my Starbucks app and I didn't really even need that much, but I used it a lot when I got sick. So like I said, this is like my third medicine ball and yeah, having money already on the Starbucks app has been coming in handy. So I did that again. Kalani is a new envelope for my wallet and that's my daughter and she's going to get $20. <clears throat> And this is for anything that she may want or need when we go to the stores. So this is for her. This isn't for like her necessities, like pull-ups or wipes or anything like that. But because I'll like pay for that with household. But this is for anything that she might want. Eating out is going to get $40. Um, I just felt like stuffing 30 was just not enough for two weeks. And ideally, spending $20 a week for eating out is a little bit more ideal. And then if I have rollover, I have rollover. So I just want to do more than less. And these envelopes are pretty fresh. I haven't used them, so they're hard to open. Household. Household is going to get $30. So a 20 and a 10. My bills are all upside down. Ugh. It's going to... Right? Okay, sorry. So a 20 and a 10 for households for $30. This goes for like laundry detergent, dish detergent pods. Um, like I said, her pull-ups if she needs any for my daughter. Um, anything for the home. You hear her in the background, as always. Anything for home goes in this. And then for miscellaneous, I am going to be stuffing this $10. And this envelope comes in handy, y'all. Because I decided to get my car details. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. And that had to like, I had to put my miscellaneous and my spending and all that together to kind of like pay for that. But yeah, this envelope comes in handy when you're short from a different envelope and you don't know re where to really allocate it. So I've been liking that. And that is all for my cash wallet that is a total of $360 that I'm stuffing for two weeks um, into my cash wallet so that I'm going to put over to the side because we're done with her next we're going to just go ahead into my daughter's envelope I'm trying to like organize this video a lot better than my last one because I feel like I was all over the place so I keep her in my A5 binder because I wanted her to have an A5 envelope. And look at her little section. Isn't this so cute? So this is the same dash I already have with her name on it from Carrie and Co. I'll link it in the description box. But this is new. This is so cute. It says nothing in this bag belongs to me. Hashtag mom life. And I got this from <clears throat> an Etsy shop. I think her name was Missy. I will link her in the description box as well. I think this is just so freaking cute. And appropriate because nothing in this bag belongs to me. <laughs> and so for Kalani, um, I try to give her $50 a paycheck. So she is the only 50 that's here. So now she has $51.50. So $150 for Kalani. And hopefully I can save up to get her first 5K. 
And I'm not doing any um, saving challenges. Oh, this dashboard is new too, this leopard one. It's also from Carrie Ann Co. So cute. I got the matching one for my short-term binder, but I ordered it wrong. So she was so sweet and she's gonna send me the correct one for my A6 binder. But I'm not doing any saving challenges with this paycheck, so I can set this over to the side. And we're done with that for now. So we're going to move into my long-term binder. So for my long-term binder, we have car and gas. And car and gas is just going to get $20. So it's only $20 in here. Okay, I have to explain it to you. So for my long-term binder, I took out my loan envelope that I was adding like five to $10 a paycheck to just to contribute to my loans at the end of the year. I do pay on my loans every single month for student loans and I can only really contribute very little since I'm focusing on my credit card debt. And I thought that that envelope was kind of pointless when I can allocate that money to other envelopes and meet the goals that I have for certain envelopes. So I took that envelope out. I may use that like next year or so, but right now I took it out and I had $30 in there. So I did add the $20 that was in there in car and gas. Now I did have money in car and gas already, but I did a lease buyout for my car and I had to go and get a new title and registration for my car. And so that cost like $150. I took the $40 that was already in car and gas and I put it towards, um, you know, paying myself back for that. So this envelope was empty until I took out my loan envelope. So this is $20 from my loan envelope. And then I put $10 into, um, I think it was clothing. So that's where the loan envelope went and the money from there. I didn't spend it, but I just put it to other envelopes that needed it. So car and gas today is going to get this $20. So it's going to be back at 40. And this is for car maintenance, so oil changes. Um, I do need to get my windshield fixed. So I kind of want to save up like my deductible in this envelope. And then that will be my goal and then go from there. In this, this saving challenge is my $2,000 saving challenge for my credit cards. So you guys remember from my last videos, I told you guys I'm trying to save up $2,000 to put towards my credit cards at the end of the year. Um, I do pay my minimum on all my credit cards every month. And then I also am snowballing a credit card until it is paid off. So I do have a snowball envelope that you guys will see in a minute. Um, but this money is going to be given to whatever my credit card balance is at the end of the year as an extra boost to pay off my credit card debt. You guys saw that I used a 26 week saving challenge in my last videos and I kept that in my notebook. And I just felt like in the video it was just too much back and forth between like my notebook and my binders and it was just too much and i'd rather just have the tracker right here where the money is so i found this tracker on etsy it's from mel's budget design and she has like a ton of saving challenges so i will link her etsy shop down in the description box as well but this is so cute it's also an envelope but i'm just not using it this time um i will reuse this um savings challenge over and over again because I could always save $2,000, right? So this is awesome. It is a 52-week saving challenge. So I um, fill two piggy banks a paycheck to make it a 26-week challenge for me. So for this paycheck, I'm giving credit cards. Um, I already filled in the 22 and the 10. So credit cards is going to get 32 from this paycheck. Um, so a 20, a 20 and a 10. And then $2. So now credit cards has 150, 2, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So 251. Right? 1, 2, 20, 30, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1. So yes, 251 is now in credit cards. And these bills, like, oh my gosh. 
the bank gave us some jacked up bills. But once this is a thousand, I'll put it in bank anyway until I um, save my other thousand and whatever. So 251 already towards the 2000. So we're getting up there. Oh, sorry, I hit the camera. Okay. Emergency fund is the next envelope, and emergency is going to get $25. I do try to save like $50 for emergency, but I don't have it this time. So a 20 and a 5. Um, so it would be 20 and a 5. So now emergency has 51, 20, 40, 65. So 165 in emergency. Next is Fam Bam, and this is my family time envelope. This is a new envelope, right? Um, yeah, this is new. You guys didn't see this. So I ordered some more envelopes so you guys will see some empty ones because there are new. So for my family time envelope, I'm going to put $20. So it's first 20 I just found, I told you guys that I made some changes. I just found some things that worked for me and didn't. So that's why I took out some envelopes, but I added some new ones. Um, just you know, what works for my lifestyle and what's working for me realistically. And I was like, I'm not saving anything for family time. So, and that's important to me. So I have an envelope. This one is for future me. I'm not going to stuff this one today, but this is going to be um, me saving towards my Roth IRA. I did just start a Roth IRA this year and I already put like $150 in there. I'm going to start stuffing this again next month. I already contribute to my 401k. Last year, I actually contributed quite heavily, like over 10% to my, my, um, of my paycheck went to my 401k. So I was contributing like over $800 a month. But I started a Roth IRA because as you know, this is going to be after taxes. So all this money is going to be tax free. Vacation, vacation is going to get $20. I still don't have a plan for vacation, but my boyfriend and I talk about it. So just so that I have my portion or whatever I need for vacation ready. I just want to be ready for it. So 20, 40, and 45 so far in vacation. New home envelope uh, or savings challenge. So for new home, I'm going to step $25 today. Um, this is for whenever we're ready to buy a home. So now new home has... 20, 45, and 50. Oh. And then I'm just going to. Oops. So, all over the place with these things. Just going to color in another 25. I think this is the right color. I don't even know. And that is that so that is all for my long-term binder now for my short-term binder so for my short-term binder starting with birthday you guys know this is for my birthday um and i'm going to be adding twenty dollars today so the 20 so now birthday has 20 40 60 80 and one um, yeah, I talked to you guys already in previous videos as to what I am doing with this money, but this envelope is for my birthday. Christmas, Christmas is going to get um, $40 today. So 20, 40, 20, 40, 60, 80 for Christmas. I'm trying to get on track so that we can have $1,000 by Christmas. Is it raining where you guys are? Because it is raining and the weather sucks <laughs> where I am today. So I'm feeling very like gloomy and I'm plus I'm sick. So I'm tired. Um, my family is home. Everyone's home. And it's just one of those days. I actually want to watch um, Snowfall, a couple episodes of Snowfall. Because um, if you guys watch that show on FX, it is coming back out, I think, tonight. So I just want to catch up on a few episodes. Um, for clothing, clothing is going to get $10. So now clothing has $10, 20 30 And like I told you guys, I put that $10 from the loan envelope in here. Okay, 
date night. Date night is a new envelope. And I still have my red nails on from Valentine's Day. I even featured my little roses that are holding on for dear life um, from Valentine's Day. I hope you guys had a good Valentine's Day. Um, but I did en uh, end up adding a date night envelope. Because I was like, oh, I don't have like one for date night. But then I realized that like of all the years me and my boyfriend have been together, I barely ever paid for a date night. So I guess this is for like leaving a tip or if I decide to take him out for val um, not Valentine's Day, but take him out on a date. Oh my gosh, these upside down bills are bothering me. If I decide to take him out on a date, then that's what this envelope will be for. So date night is going to get $10. But yes, it is still the month of love, so I still have my red nails on. I have to do my nails over. Gifts. Gifts is going to get $20. And when I get my refund, um, when I do my refund um, cash stuffing, I'm going to have to beef up some of these envelopes, like gifts, because my mother's birthday is coming up, and then my boyfriend's birthday is in March, so I'm going to have to add some money to this. But... That's a new envelope, and that has 20 now. Home Things is also new. This is going to be things around the house. I do like to add, um, like, update my throw pillows or my duvet covers or anything like that around the house. You know, spruce up, you know, the decor throughout the year. So this is going to be what this envelope is for. And it's going to get $10 today. Um, but that is a new envelope as well. Perfumes is going to get skipped this paycheck. Self-care. Self-care is going to get $20. I think it already has $20 in here. So now it has $40. Snowball. So Snowball is that envelope I was telling you guys about. This is what I'm going to contribute to whatever credit card I'm snowballing at the time at the end of um, every month. So for this paycheck, Snowball is getting $205. So that's one, two, and a five. So now Snowball has one, two, 20, 40, 60, 80, three, five, six, seven, eight. So $308. And that's going to be going to the credit card that I'm snowballing at this time, which is my um, Capital One card. So I'm going to go ahead and deposit this in the bank probably the end of this week or next week sometime. And then pay it as an additional payment on my card. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry. My phone stopped recording because it said something about my storage. Okay, so spending. Spending is going to get $20. No. Ten dollars, yes. Spending's gonna get ten dollars today. So now spending has thirty. I do think the last time I filmed, I had a little bit more money in here. I had to use some for Valentine's Day. Tech, tech is going to get twenty dollars. So now it has forty. And you guys, that saving challenge I was using for spending, I just moved it to tech. It just made more sense in here. Um, and also the 220s are already crossed out from when it was in spending. Um, but it makes more sense in here. It didn't make sense in spending since I kind of pulled from there. So I'm actually gonna use the thousand dollar saving challenge to save for the iPad because I figured that would cover like the iPad, insurance, and accessories and everything. So that's how I'm going to track saving a thousand dollars. And I have money left. Oh, you know what? You guys, I was going to give gifts for extra dollars. And I didn't see that. Let's see, I'm trying to bulk this up. So gifts is actually going to get, yep, $4. So 24 in gifts. Kind of save for these birthday gifts and then um i'm going to just add this money i have on the side to my one dollar and my five dollar saving challenge can you guys believe this is my first five dollar bill that i'm able to save it's crazy 
I really never come across a five dollar bill. I don't know why, or to have like left over. Um, I never have a five dollar bill left over. It's wild. So the first five in the five dollar saving challenge, and then you guys will see me stuff my hundred envelope and my um, month ahead. I want to show you guys my new tracker because I also got a new 100 envelope tracker because like I said, I kept all my saving challenges in my notebook, but I figured it was just better to just keep the trackers with the money. So my 100 envelope is actually um, here in the envelope and then I have a month ahead one as well um, for when I start to save for a month ahead. So that is all cool. All right, you guys. So that is all for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I really appreciate all you guys who have sub subscribed. So I want to say welcome to my channel once again. Again, if you're not subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I post a video. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching here to the end. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!